Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We begin with Allah's blessed name. We praise Him and we glorify Him as He ought to be praised and glorified. And we pray for peace and for blessings on all His noble messengers. And in particular on the last of them all, the blessed Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam as we greet you from uh, Rawalpindi, the city of Rawalpindi. Uh, in Pakistan on this the third day of Shawwal, uh, the month of Shawwal in the year 1442 with Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, we want to share with you something we've not done before. And that is that, uh, that there is a great war which is coming and very many of you already are convinced that that war is coming and it will be the great war prophesied by our Prophet wasalam, in this hadith for example which offers a timeline of events of Akhir zaman I have quoted this hadith so many times that you are already familiar with it I don't need to quote the Arabic anymore that he said to his companion Mu'az ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that when Jerusalem is center stage in the world, at that time Medina would be in full-on desolation. I'm giving you the meaning of the Arabic text, not the exact translation. And when Medina is playing no role at all in world affairs, at that time the great war will take place. He calls it the Malhama. And we know from another hadith that 99 out of every 100 who fight in that war would be killed. And hence it has to be a war using weapons of mass destruction to kill 99% of combatants. There's never been a war like that all in all of history. The Malhama has not as yet taken place. The Christians and the Jews call it Armageddon. And Armageddon has not as yet taken place. The only people who believe that the Great War has already taken place are people who should buy a ticket to Disneyland. Then he said that when the Great War takes place and it kills 99% of combatants, he says, the next event after that in one hadith after seven months, the other hadith says after seven years. We don't know which one is correct. That the, the, the next event after that would be the Fatul Constantinia, the conquest of Constantinople. And one of the reasons why the name Constantinople has now disappeared from language the name Constantinople has now been consigned to the museums of history is because of this prophecy. 